all of the, or most, pretty much all, if not most of the, most if not all. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Today I am sharing with you how I combine Classical Conversations and Ambleside Online. So if you're interested in hearing more about that, then hit that thumbs up button and stay tuned. Well, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Sherea Maurice and I'm a homeschooling mama of three kiddos, ages one, three, and almost six. And I like sharing videos on how you can simplify your homeschool to save you time, money, and your sanity. So if you enjoy that kind of thing, then be sure and hit that subscribe button, turn on the little bell icon so that you can be notified of my newest videos. And if you'd like to get a behind the scenes look at our homeschool, you can follow us over on Instagram at the Sharia Maurice. Now, today I'm sharing with you how I combine two different homeschooling philosophies, classical and Charlotte Mason, or more specifically classical conversations and Ambleside online. <laughs> so I have shared with you in a previous video, how I do classical conversations. I will link that down below for you to watch if you're interested. And um, Ambleside Online is, like I said, a Charlotte Mason approach to education and how I combine that. So um, I believe that those two, while completely different philosophies, go very well hand in hand. And so um, for our classical conversations, really at this level in my son's education and really my preschoolers and toddlers as well, is simply memory work. So what I have done is I have moved our CC memory work to our lunch basket is what I like to call it. So it's kind of a play on our morning time, the morning basket, but this time it's our lunch basket. So as you can imagine, we do this over lunch. I have found that whenever my kids' mouths are full and they're already at the table, I can get a lot of work done. <laughs> And so um, at lunchtime, I'll sit everyone down, I'll have them all ready with their food, we'll say our prayers, and then we'll get started with our memory work. And so I'll just play it on my phone and we'll run through the memory work for um, the week, each and every day that we do school. Who can tell me our Latin conjugation? Sheila, can you tell me our Latin conjugations? You've been seeing them today. I'll give the first one. First conjugation in perfect tense, right? Okay. What about counting by sixes? Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. And then from there, we transition into our Charlotte Mason or Ambleside Online curriculum. And what I have done is I've made up a um, lunch basket schedule and um, Basically, it's a, it's a block schedule where on certain days I read aloud certain um, subjects. So on Mondays and Thursdays, we're really history focused. And then on Tuesdays and Fridays, we're more geography focused. So our lunch basket really just involves um, history and geography. And those are family subjects that I couldn't include in morning time because we had so much in morning time already. So this um, system has been working out great for us so far because we've been able to get to everything and lunchtime is the perfect time for my kids to just sit and listen while I read our living books for history and geography. So it's been great. So um, the subjects that we cover and the material that we read during this time is straight out of the Ambleside Online curriculum for year one. So this doesn't always correlate to our classical conversations memory work. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. For example, I know in the future we're going to be covering Napoleon Bonaparte and um, we'll have a specific memory sentence from classical conversations for him. But just yesterday, 
we read about Napole Napoleon and how he crossed the Alps in one of our 50 famous stories that we read from our Ambleside Online curriculum. So while those two things didn't combine, he still is going to get the memory work later and he still has that story to hang that peg onto that memory work whenever we go through um, our memory work when we get to Napoleon Bonaparte. So for history, during lunchtime, I just read from my Kindle. I have my little e-reader here. And that's what I love so much about Ambleside Online is that most, if not all, <laughs> of the readings are free online through my Kindle. And I can just download them onto here, which I already have. And I have a little um, collection for each thing. So I actually have um, my beauty books list for my morning time basket. And then I have um, my history tales for whenever we're covering history. And then geography, I already have the collections listed out. And so then at lunchtime, I can just go to history and then I have all the books that we'll be reading for history. And it keeps track of the top ones that I've opened last. So currently we're working through 50 Famous Stories Retold, Trial and Triumph, and Our Island Story. Those are the three that we cover. And I just follow the Ambleside Online um, schedule. Uh, our Island Story, the founding of the round table. Yep. Remember last time we read about how Merlin created a test. Do you remember what that test was? Something about a sword and a stone? Uh, yeah, and the sword and the stone, and then ever, all the soldiers tried to get, get out, and the fifth and dragon got it out. Arthur. Arthur got, Arthur got, it, out. got it out, yes. Which meant that he was the rightful king, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. It is said that Arthur not only drove the Saxons out of Britain, but that he conquered many parts of Europe until at last he ruled over 30 kingdoms. Then for some years there was peace. During these years, Arthur did much for his people. He taught them to love truth and goodness and to be Christian and gentle. No king had ever been loved as Arthur was loved. And then, like I said, um, Mondays and Thursdays are history, and then Tuesdays and Fridays are geography. And so um, we'll just sit down, and I'll read those stories, and then my son, I'll have him narrate back to me after we read what he got from the story or what was his favorite part in the story. Or I have a little cheat sheet I mentioned in a previous video of questions that I can ask him that can get him to narrate back to me what he got out of the story. And that is a key component to the Charlotte Mason philosophy is narration and being able to tell back what he learned. And that helps him to remember and keep it a part of his, you know, mind. Yes. So what is the one thing that stood out to you most in that story? That is how we do it and it's super easy and I feel like it goes flawlessly together <laughs> and um, we're going through CC cycle two right now and we're currently going um, in history through the Middle Ages so it all works out. We've get, we got the um, living books component where we're reading these stories and getting kind of like a firsthand um, picture of what it was like in those times and then we have our memory work that correlates to what we're learning and we have a foundation on which to build and put all of those living stories that we're taking in and it just it's going great I love it so this has been our, our, our first year with Ambleside Online year one and I am just so thankful that I have found it and it really has made um, geography and history and even our morning time just you know fill, it fills our day with such beauty and truth and goodness and all of that so i love it so much so that's really 
pretty simply how I combine classical conversations and the Ambleside Online curriculum together. They're two different things, but they go hand in hand and I incorporate narration into the stories and I, you know, include the memory work whenever we're going through the week and then even whenever we're discussing um, our history or geography or whatever, we'll, I'll read a geography story or something and then I'll be like, okay, so this is right here. Remember, we are learning about Western European countries and then we'll sing the little song and then, yeah, that's exactly where we're at, okay? So I'm gonna read from this story that's happening in this country and so then it goes perfectly. And my, my map, my world map is right next to the table. So when we're sitting down for lunch, it works perfectly that I can just do all of it at once. So that is it. I hope that this video helped you and um, helped you understand kind of how we combine these seemingly completely different um, educational philosophies together. So if you enjoyed this video, then be sure and hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, turn on the little bell icon, all of those little things down there. <laughs> and I will see you in my next video.